Good morning, everyone. It's Marla Kopal, and I have a study group called Scrappy Mindset Entrepreneurs. You're welcome to join me at any time. You just put some comments in and ask. But on Thursdays, I'm spending time talking about health and different aspects of health, because all times that I meet with people, sometimes they wonder why my energy is so high. What is it that I do to um, keep upbeat? <clears throat> I do a lot of things, but I like to share my health tips when I can. So if you just need to get a hold of me and you want to have a chat, you always just use successwithmarla.com. And in there, there's a link to set some time to talk to me and to see if we're two people who should connect. So I invite you to do that. So good morning, Delroy. And so today I want to talk about some sleep, but I want to talk about some fascinating things that happen with sleep. Sleep is important. I have many years where I didn't get good sleep. Um, that's not the story I want to tell you today. I want to tell you that I found great solutions and great outcomes. And the one thing that's most important, though, about sleep is the dreams. And I think sometimes we say, oh, I'll do fine. I'll get along. When we look at all the issues of dementia and, and Alzheimer's going on out there, how much of that is because it wasn't quality sleep? The research is still out. So what I want to do is just touch on that, because if you are someone like me who believes that you can successfully age, yep, I believe that then sleep is critical. But let me talk to you about some of the fun stories about sleep that are out there for people to uh, see and take a look at. Um, if you are not dreaming and you really want some good dreams, I can help you. I have solutions that I've used now for years and they're really, really good solutions. And I like my dreaming. But one of the things that's fascinating, there's a number of books out, is I, there's a bunch of stories about people who didn't sleep well, or they, it's not about they didn't sleep well, they slept well on particular times in their life. And in those times when they were dreaming, they created some really fun and positive things. So let's just go to science. Um, there was a Russian, his name was Mendeleev, and he's the one for any of you who had chemistry that came up with the periodical table. But how he did it was, uh, was quite adventurous. You know, he got a little frustrated trying to figure out how to put all these atoms and the, the, the negative ions and the things that go around all of those chemical formulas. He wanted to put them in some form of order. He didn't know how to put them in the order. He actually made playing cards and he would play wherever he was. He'd play those cards, cards and he was trying to put them in some sort of order that you see today on those charts. Well, it was one night in a dream that everything just got sorted. So you have to ask yourself, how many dreams are you not having and what could you sort if you did have dreams and if you really want to be a successful entrepreneur and bring some of those ideas or thoughts you have to the forefront, the order of how you put your plan together, the, the organization or the final touches to something that's been in your head for a long time and it just hasn't happened, maybe you need some dreams. And maybe those dreams are available to you um, in some of the same ways that they were with me. So I like to share and all you have to do is get a hold of me to do that. So let's talk about some other fun, fun, fun things that we have in our life today. And I know you'll be familiar with some of these and they all came from a dream. How many of you are familiar with that song yesterday by Paul McCartney? Yeah. Well, he wasn't trying to write a song. He wasn't thinking about writing a song. It was actually during the filming of the movie Help that he went to bed one night and I guess he had a tune in his head when he woke up. And so he sat at the piano and found the chords and played it out. And he had this wonderful song called Yesterday. Now, what's so funny about it is he didn't feel he wrote it because it came in a dream. But we all know he wrote it. It was just that nice... Thing that goes on in your head when you get good sleep. One of the things about the brain is I want to build you a, a thought process here. What if your brain 
was just the original internet. Mm -hmm. So you know that you've got a circuitry in your computer. You know that the internet is a circuitry. Well, this is your mind internet. So why don't you take care of it just like you would your computer? If you don't have good habits around sleep, like going to bed at the same time every night, getting up at the same time every day, watching what you eat before you go to bed, watching how soon you get off of electronics before you go to bed, you really want to change some behaviors. So I have all sorts of ways that I help entrepreneurs be successful with their health so they can be successful in their business because I've had to use these same tools. I've even had some real adventures in learning neuroscience and becoming a practitioner for three years. But that's another story. So let me tell you a couple of other exciting inventions that, that happened with and during sleep. So there was a neuroscientist, uh, Otto Louis, and he took a couple of frogs' hearts. And however he did his experience, experiments with those, he showed that there were neurotransmitters in there. He showed that our brain wiring has electrical connections. Now, some of us take that for granted, but you, it's always fascinating to me. It's like, who thought to do something to figure that out? Well, it, it came from a dream that he had this thought and then he, he implemented it. Because our brains are our clearinghouse and our brains in sleep are not only our clearinghouse, but they're our invention promoter because they take all this stuff we have up here and somehow there's this magical sorting process going on. So if you're not getting the great amount of REM sleep you need, you really want to take a look at that. And then there's one more fascinating story I have to tell you today. Um, I think you all know this name, Keith Richards. Keith Richards of the Rolling Stones. Well, how do you think the, the song Satisfaction came about? A, you know, the, the one that I'm not going to sing you because I can't get the rhythm right in my head. But you all know that song. If not, you can go find it on YouTube and play it. But here's the thing. He went to bed every night with his guitar. I don't know the story behind that, but he did. So he wakes up one morning and he's still got the guitar. It is, and in those days, they were because they were reel-to-reel -reel tapes. So his reel-to-reel -reel tapes was the machine was running. So he turned the button off, went back to the beginning, didn't think anything had happened, and the beginnings of the song Satisfaction were in there. So in his dream, he writes music, talks music, plays the guitar. So we don't all have to be that brilliant, but we want to be brilliant and successful at what we do. So sleep is really, really critical. So today I want you to take a look at your sleep patterns. I want you to start a sleep journal. I want you to understand if you get up and go to the bathroom at night, if you're not wearing one of those, I don't wear a, one of those Fitbits or anything because I don't want the EMF. So that's another whole topic that I'm going to talk about next Thursday. If you want to know about EMFs, I got some stuff for you on that. But I don't wear those because I don't want the interference with my electrical system. And I don't keep any phones in my bedroom. And I don't keep any computers in my bedroom. And I don't have a TV in my bedroom. And I don't have anything electrical in my bedroom at all. Uh, we even have a wind-up clock if we want to set the alarm, which we very seldom don't have to because we get good sleep. So we go to bed at the same time. We wake up at the same time. We've got some controls going on. So you really have to look at your patterns if you want to improve your sleep. So if you're trying to put some success patterns to, together for your business, don't leave out those sleep patterns. They're critical. So I just love to talk to anybody about anything. And hey, Danielle, I didn't see you out there. Good to see you. But if you have sleep questions, I want you to get a hold of me. If you're saying I can't be successful in my business, I'm stuck, I want you to get a hold of me because you never know. But I think you need better sleep in order to sell you and then you can to others and then you can sell more. So I'll talk to you soon. Bye.